Black inventors have made significant contributions to technology across various fields, from telecommunications to computing and even healthcare. Here are some notable technologies revolutionized by Black inventors. Dr. Shirley Jackson, caller ID and call waiting. Dr. Shirley Jackson, a theoretical physicist, conducted groundbreaking work in telecommunications while at Bell Laboratories. Her research contributed to the development of caller ID and call waiting technologies, which revolutionized how people manage phone communication. Mark Dean, personal computer and color monitor. Mark Dean, a computer scientist and engineer at IBM, holds three of the nine patents that led to the development of the IBM PC in 1981. His work includes the ISA bus, which allowed multiple devices like printers and modems to be connected to a computer and contributions to the color monitor. Gigahertz microprocessor Dean also co-invented the first gigahertz microprocessor, a major leap in computer processing power that greatly influenced modern computing. Marie Van Britten Brown, in 1966, Marie Van Britten Brown co-invented the first home security system with her husband, Albert L. Brown. This system was designed to allow homeowners to monitor and control their security remotely. And it laid the foundation for modern day home security technologies such as video surveillance, motion detection, and alarm systems. Granville T. Woods, often referred to as the Black Edison, made significant contributions to railway communication systems. One of his most notable inventions was the induction telegraph, which allowed moving trains to communicate with each other. This innovation was crucial in preventing accidents and enhancing the safety of railways. Furthermore, his work had a lasting impact on later telegraphy and electrical transmission systems. Otis Boykin made groundbreaking advancements in the field of electronics. Among his most important contributions was the development of a control unit for pacemakers, a device essential for regulating heartbeats. In addition, Boykin improved resistors, which are vital components in a wide range of electronic devices, from computers to radios and televisions. James E. West co-invented the electric microphone with Gerhard Sessler. The electric microphone is a device that has become ubiquitous in modern sound technology. Today, 90% of microphones, including those in cell phones, hearing aids, and computers, utilize this technology. West's work made microphones more compact, reliable, and affordable, revolutionizing how we capture and transmit sound. Dr. Patricia Bath, laser phaco probe for cataract treatment. Dr. Patricia Bath was an ophthalmologist and the first black woman to receive a medical patent. She invented the laser phaco probe, a device that uses lasers to perform less invasive cataract surgery, improving vision for millions of people around the world. Louis Latimer, carbon filament for light bulbs. Though Thomas Edison is credited with inventing the light bulb, Louis Latimer invented the carbon filament, which made light bulbs longer lasting, more efficient, and affordable for widespread use. Latimer's contributions were pivotal in the spread of electric lighting. Dr. Marion Croak, voice over internet protocol, VOITE. Dr. Marion Croak, a computer scientist, was instrumental in the development of VOIP technology, which allows people to make voice calls over the internet. This technology is foundational for platforms like Skype, Zoom, and modern telecommunication. Philip Amayabwali, Supercomputing and Parallel Processing. Nigerian-born black inventor Philip Amayabwali is known for his work on high-performance computing. He won the Gordon Bell Prize in 1989 for using a connection machine supercomputer to achieve a record-breaking computation speed, which was instrumental in developing systems for weather forecasting and petroleum reservoir modeling. These inventors helped revolutionize fields ranging from computing and telecommunications to healthcare and security, leaving an indelible mark on modern technology. Next, the invention of the modern cell phone is attributed to the contributions of several inventors and engineers, many of whom were black American. While no single individual can claim sole credit for inventing the cell phone, 
key contributions by black American inventors have shaped the technology we use today. Some notable black American contributors include Henry T. Sampson is credited with inventing the gamma electric cell in 1971, a technology that led to advancements in cellular technology, though not directly related to cell phones. His invention helped in the development of communication systems that later influenced mobile phone technology. Jesse Eugene Russell is often credited as a key figure in the development of modern cell phone technology. While working at AT&T Bell Laboratories, he pioneered digital cellular technology. In 1988, Russell created the concept for the wireless digital phone and communication after designing a cell phone that transmitted signals between handsets and cell phone towers. His innovations include advancements in wireless communication that made cell phones more efficient, reliable, and practical for everyday use. These individuals played important roles in the evolution of cellular technology, helping to lay the groundwork for the cell phones we use today. Next, here are some notable black inventors and engineers who contributed to computer technology. Dr. Clarence Skiff Ellis was the first black American to earn a PhD in computer science in 1969 and made significant contributions to the field of groupware which is collaborative software designed to help people work together on shared tasks. He worked at Xerox Park, the Palo Alto Research Center, where he helped develop the concept of Office Talk, an early system for collaborative editing, a precursor to modern day collaborative tools like Google Docs and Microsoft Teams. Jerry Lawson developed the interchangeable video game cartridge while working at Fairchild Semiconductor in the 1970s. His invention allowed video game consoles to switch between different games, which paved the way for home gaming systems like the Atari 2600. This concept influenced how software and programs are distributed and used across platforms, including early computers and gaming systems. Roy Clay, known as the godfather of Silicon Valley, was one of the key figures in the early development of computers at Hewlett Packard. He helped lead the team that developed HP's first mini computer, which contributed to the evolution of smaller, more affordable computing systems in which it's E. His leadership at HP also helped break racial barriers in the tech industry. Dr. John Henry Thompson created the Lingo programming language, which was used in Macromedia Director, an early multimedia platform. Lingo allowed users to create interactive media such as animations, games, and websites, influencing the development of multimedia and web technologies that are integral to modern computing and the internet. While these black inventors may not have directly invented the first computers, their groundbreaking contributions in areas like personal computing, supercomputing, software development, and hardware design played critical roles in the development and advancement of computer technology. Their work has helped shape the computers we use today and continues to influence modern technological innovations. Hello everyone, Leonard here. Historical figures that may have flown under the radar, but their impact radiates through the fabric of American history. These trailblazing black American historical figures whose contributions to American history continue to impact us today. Before Elvis and Johnny Cash, there was Sister Rosetta Tharp, affectionately dubbed the godmother of rock and roll. Tharp, best known for her gospel vocals and unique electric guitar playing, paved the way for new artists and genres. Her distinctive voice and style, which fused Delta blues, New Orleans jazz, and gospel music, attracted fans across races during a time when it was a rarity to see a female guitarist and vocal artist that explored in tandem religious, and secular genres. Most notably, in 1938, Tharp joined the Cotton Club Review, a popular New York City club during the Prohibition era, at just 23, where she composed her first single, Rock Me. Fritz Pollard, nee Frederick Douglas Pollard, was a prominent American athlete and coach. He was one of the first black players in the NFL, along with Bobby Marshall, in 1920. In 1921, he became the first black American head coach in the league. In 2005, he was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame.
Before there was Serena Williams, there was Althea Gibson. Gibson was more than just an American tennis player and professional golfer. She was also one of the first black athletes to bypass the color divide of international tennis. In 1956, she won a Grand Slam title, the first black American to do so. In the 60s, she made even more history as the first black competitor on the women's pro golf tour. Althea stays winning. In 1971, Gibson was inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame and later served as Commissioner of Athletics for the state of New Jersey. Contrary to today's climate where women like Alison Felix, Aething Mu, and Shakari Richardson dominate track and field in the United States, Alice Coachman came from an era where participating in sports was considered unladylike. Yet Coachman goes down in history as the first black woman of any nationality to win an Olympic gold medal when she competed in the high jump at the 1948 Summer Games in London. Throughout her brief yet successful career, she retired shortly after her Olympic win, despite only being 25. Not only did she set a new Olympic record for clearing the 5 foot 6 and 1 8 inch bar on her first attempt, but she also won 34 national titles and was inducted into nine halls of fame. Her achievements paved the way for hundreds of black female athletes of today. Gordon Parks is known as one of the most groundbreaking figures in 20th century photography. His documentary photojournalism from the 1940s until the 1970s revealed important aspects of black American culture, civil rights, poverty, U.S. race relations, and urban life. Not only was he a prominent documenter of the civil rights movement, but in 1969, Parks became the first black American to write and direct a major Hollywood film, The Learning Tree, based on his 1963 semi-biographical novel of the same name. Similar to the likes of Gordon Parks, Marie P. Williams, a social activist, teacher, and author, made strides in the film world and is credited with being the first black woman in U.S. history to write, produce, distribute, and act in her own feature film, the silent crime drama The Flames of Wrath, in 1923. Williams's contribution to the film industry, along with filmmaker Tressie Souders, who is noted as the first black American woman director, paved the way for other black American women in movies. ICDK Dr. Rebecca Lee Crumpler was the first black American woman physician in the United States. She earned her degree from the New England Female Medical College in 1864. Yeah, put some respect on her name. While in the late 1860s women made up only about 354,543 physicians in the U.S., none of them were black making Crumpler an inspiration to all who sought diversity and a path forward in healthcare. During her career, she worked for the Freedmen's Bureau, providing medical care to hundreds of freed slaves. Alice Allison Dunnigan goes down in history as the first black female correspondent to receive White House credentials. The journalist, civil rights activist and author was also the first black female member of the Senate and House of Representatives press galleries, you know, casual. With top-notch journalism skills and a thirst for equality, Dunnigan even challenged President Truman on segregation. It's been reported that after Truman issued the executive order to desegregate the military, Dunnigan questioned when he would integrate military schools around the nation too, because why not? President Truman is said to have opened those schools to black service members following this inquiry, which was the catalyst for larger integration initiatives in the future. James Armistead Lafayette was an enslaved black man most recognized for his role as a spy during the American Revolution. With the permission of his master, Armistead enlisted in the Revolutionary War under General Lafayette, and playing double agent, was able to gain the trust of General Cornwallis and Benedict Arnold. While Armistead's position was unconventional, his triumph allowed him to provide information that allowed American forces to prevail at the Battle of Yorktown, thus allowing him to successfully petition for his freedom in 1787. Annie Lee Cooper It's important to remember this incident is only part of her story, as Cooper was a pivotal participant in the civil rights movement in the 1960s, specifically during the 1965 Selma Voting Rights Movement, which she joined after she was denied the ability to register to vote due to failing to answer the questions correctly. 
Her activism led to the passage of the Voting Rights Act of 1965, which prohibited states from imposing laws that prevented black female from exercising their right to vote. Bolin was the first black woman granted a law degree from Yale Law School, the first black female judge, the first black woman to work at the New York City Corporation Counsel's Office, and the first black woman to be admitted to the Bar Association of New York City. Phew, what a resume. She spent four decades of her career advocating for children and families while serving on the country's family court bench. May Jemison. May Jemison did as the first black woman to travel into space in 1992. In addition to being a former NASA astronaut, Jemison is also a physician and engineer. Talk about women in STEM. She's been inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame, National Medical Association Hall of Fame, and has received multiple awards and honorary degrees through her lifetime, including the National Organization for Women's Intrepid Award and the Kilby Science Award. After six years at NASA in 1993, she left the association to start the Jemison Group, a tech consulting firm that encourages the integration of socio-cultural issues into the design of new technologies and services. Max Robinson Jr. was a prominent American television journalist in the 1970s and 80s. Most notably, he served as co-anchor on ABC World News Tonight from 1978 until 1983. Robinson was the first black man who broadcast network news anchor in the country. He was also one of the founders of the National Association of Black Journalists in 1975, an organization that offers training, career advancement opportunities, and advocacy for black journalists. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to honor these incredible pioneers and trailblazers.